I keep getting asked this question. Sometimes it's a statement, and I'm asked it at least once a day. And it's generally from new content creators or beginner photographers. And today, I'm going to try and answer that. The answer to the question is sometimes it rains. Well, I'm glad you've asked. The thing that's said to me on almost a daily basis is, I live in a such a dull, boring, grey, uninspiring area. How am I expected to create fantastic images and great content with such a dull backdrop? And my answer to that is, sometimes it rains. We can't all live in these beautiful, stunning locations. And the truth of the matter is, the people who do live in where you think is a beautiful, stunning location, sometimes think exactly the same as you. They sometimes think that it's dull, boring and uninspiring. Let me explain a little more. You see, let's take for example Instagram. We've all seen the image of the aircraft in Iceland, and it's a fantastic scene, beautiful scenery, nice subject to photograph. But we've seen it that often, it becomes boring. The hand that's held out leading someone into a nice scene. Really nice image, but again we've seen it that often. It then becomes boring. And that's just the same as the area where you live. Because you see it so often, it becomes really, really boring and uninteresting. But that's to you, not to other people. So at the beginning of this video, I used some B-roll. It was a wet day. It was very grey, very miserable. I wanted to use that to show you what you can do with something that's boring. I used it, some splashes of colour with the pegs and the umbrella just to add a little bit of interest and that's what you've got to do, you've got to look for something beyond what everybody sees just to create interest and make something nice, beautiful and something that people want to look at and watch. I'm about to set myself a challenge, I've come to Media City which is on my doorstep, I've seen this place pretty much every day for the last 20 years and one of my best selling stock photographs is of one of the scenes here which is a bridge and the Lowry Theatre and it's an image that's available from a thousand different people but they all look the same but it is my most popular selling image so what I'm going to do this afternoon is test myself I'm going to walk around Media City and look for something else to put some b-roll together to show you that you don't have to show the norm what everybody else is looking at if you look for something beyond that to make it more interesting. So I hope you enjoyed that b-roll and whilst it's nothing epic the whole point of this exercise is to show you that if you look at the small details you can find something of interest whether that's to you or to your viewers don't think you live in a boring dull uninspiring place make the most of what you've got even if you've only got an iPhone doesn't mean you can't be a very good creator so I want you to run with that if you go and create something of interest something new please point me in the direction because I'd love to see it well thank you for watching the video, if you've enjoyed it, 
please give me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. Leave a comment down below, I'd love to read those too. And if you don't already, why don't you consider subscribing to this channel? We're all about photography and cinematography, tech news, views, reviews, tips and tricks. And hopefully I'll see you again very soon.